This week, a pilot writes, the evening before the first day of my reserve block, I noticed scheduling placed the trip on my board with a report time five hours after the start of my wrap. I really wanted that later check-in, so I acknowledged the trip. Since I have an own preference, am I now only responsible for the later check-in time for the assignment? To answer, no. You are still responsible to be phone contactable at the beginning of your wrap start, even though you have an own preference and acknowledge the assignment. According to Section 8G1, a pilot is required to maintain telephone availability once assigned a pairing until report time for that pairing, except during the rest period. It further states that if a reserve is contacted between the time pairing is assigned and report time, scheduling may change the assignment. So in your case, even though you acknowledge the trip, you are still required to be phone contactable from the start of your app until report time for that trip, as scheduling may call and change your assignment. With respect to your own preference, Section 8D6F states the only protection this option gives you is that it prevents another pilot from taking a pairing assigned to you starting at 2000 Central the day prior to the report. And it further reinforces that this preference does not prevent scheduling from modifying the assignment. Ultimately, your question highlights some key points about the lack of flexibility and quality of life in our current reserve system. This is why in our contract 2020 proposal, we're seeking improved reserve preferences, such as release until check-in. This preference stipulates, among other things, the pilot is only required to be contactable starting at the report time for the trip assigned. Contrary to the company's belief, SRC data indicates this option would have a minimal impact on the operation, as most reserve assignments are not modified close into report. For more information on this and other reserve improvements we are seeking in negotiations, check out the August 2018 issue of the negotiating point on swapa.org and the SRC's blog, Blueprint for Success. As always, if you have any contract-related questions, give us a call or send us an email.